I come from a place that has no borders. I come from a sea of islands. I come from Fiji in the Pacific, a proud ocean state that has a unique bond with the sea. For us, it has vast significance, cultural, historical, and spiritual. The ocean is simply a part of our identity. We have always relied on the ocean for sustenance and a means of connection from one island to another and to each other. From the time we can walk, we play in it. When we are at sea, we are at home. And it is us who are seeing firsthand the worst impacts of climate change. Six large communities in my country have already been forced to relocate as a result of sea level rise, with 43 more expecting to be moved inland. Our ancestors' graves, which were once shaded by palm trees, are now submerged underwater. Even the dead cannot, affect, cannot escape the effects of climate change. Plastic pollution is another major issue for our waters, threatening our ecosystems, species, and people. Pacific Islanders contribute less than 1% of the world's plastics, but like the climate crisis, we bear the brunt of its consequences. Plastic makes up the majority of marine debris because it is used in an increasing variety of items and does not biodegrade. Instead, it breaks down into tiny pieces called microplastics and nanoplastics. And this marine debris is extremely harmful to fish and seabirds, which mistake plastic for food and can die of organ rupture. Seals and other marine mammals become entangled and die in abandoned fishing nets. And plastics degrade through photodegradation. They release greenhouse gases and toxic compounds. Plastics can also absorb toxins from the seawater, and when marine mammals eat plastics, the marine food chain is impacted, which in turn affects our bodies when we eat seafood. A local study found microplastics in over 65% of fish in Fiji waters. Another recent study, study found that by the year 2050, the weight of plastics in our oceans may surpass that of fish. I find all this very alarming, but I believe beach cleanups are not the answer. They are only a temporary solution. There is no point in mopping the floor until you turn off the tap. So I launched Precious Plastic Fiji, a completely youth-led social enterprise to collect, sort, and clean the different plastic waste collected from around the coast nationally. Using upcycling machines, we then shred them, melt them, create new products based on market demand. Collaborating with a local organization, we have developed items such as braille keyboard for the blind and wheelchair fittings. And in doing so, we have given value to waste. Since our launch, we have collected over 30 tons of plastic waste, redirected over 10 tons of plastic waste from landfills, and organized multiple nationwide coastal cleanups involving over 5,000 citizens. Through our REA project, and in collaboration with UNICEF, we have taught over 50,000 Fijian students about plastic waste and how to recycle. We assist the University of the South Pacific in its research on using plastic waste to create roads in Fiji. And we are now a nationally recognized public hub where people can bring their plastic trash that would otherwise end up in, in a landfill or worse, the ocean. We have even successfully lobbied for a law against the single-use plastic which was banned four years ago. Plastic pollution in our lands, rivers, and seas is a monumental, multifaceted problem with global implications. We need to design less to toxic products, eliminate unnecessary products at source, and develop better recycling processes. And to achieve this, public, particip public participation, your participation, is critical for influencing behavior and putting pressure on governments and businesses to act. Until this problem is in hand, 
we in the Pacific will always be cleaning up after the larger polluting economies. The ecological integrity of our oceans, which have sustained my people for gen many generations, is threatened by marine, marine pollution in all its forms. So I beg you, think about your buying choices. Find a way to put pressure on your governments to ban single-use plastics. You could even do what I have done. Precious Plastic is an alternative plastic recycling system run by thousands of young people around the world using knowledge that is shared free and open source online. You could introduce this system in your country and in your communities, and you would be joining a growing movement of people who are united in their desire for a world, an ocean, with less plastic waste. Whatever you do, make sure that you are part of the solution, not part of the problem. The usual saying goes that it's never too late to start. But I say it's never too early. Thank you.